All right, so here's a project I'm about to start working on. I haven't started on it yet, but I'm gonna take this shopping cart right here, this one, and probably weld it to the top of this motor. I haven't decided yet. I'm either gonna weld it on top of this motor, this lawnmower right here. I have a motor for it, the transmission works, or remove everything off of this one and extend the frame using another lawnmower on some four-wheeler suspension and lift it up a little ah, excuse me sorry and make a little go-kart i've already started to disassemble it a little but it's been raining the past couple of days so i haven't got to do much to it where did i set that seat at pretty much all i've got off of it's the seat what up the seat at oh there's the seat I've got a general idea of what I'm going to do. I've got a 8.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Troy belt motor off of a, um, off of a water, water spray or whatever you call them things, pressure water. I should have, I really should have brought it over here before I started filming, but whatever. <laughs> And yeah, these are just, they're, they're trash. These lawnmowers are trash. I just want the frame off of this one, if I even use the frame. This one is mostly good. I don't care about the deck. The deck I don't care about, that's getting taken off. But the transmission in it is still good. I'm not gonna use the steering wheel off of this one. I've already decided on that. I'm going to use this right here. Sorry for the shaky cam, by the way. I just got a phone. I'm going to use this one right here. Take this off. Easy rider. I'm going to put it on some ATV tire. Not ATV. <laughs> some probably four-wheeler tires on the rear. Change these out with some... Uh, slicks for a go-kart uh, I haven't thought of a name for this project yet but it's just a little project I want to work on just something to work on in the meantime while I'm still saving up for that old green car right there which eventually I'll have more videos of I just don't I just <laughs> I don't make that much money right now that car I got right before I got out of high school. I'm just out of that too, so. But no, uh, they haven't really been disassembled yet. Because like I said, it's been raining. Haven't really had time. I can picture it on my head. It's kind of hard for me to describe. But if I do this one here, I'm gonna lower the seating position on it. Again, sorry for the shaky camera. That right next to it lower the seating position <laughs> probably make a brace for it and weld on the bottom sorry about that that's my dog over there weld it on the bottom uh, weld it on the bottom I know I've said that a bunch of times I'm sorry Replace this column out here. Probably put some go-kart stuff there. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet again. Probably after this video, I'm going to start disassembling them again. Uh, but... Um, yeah, let me go show you the motor. I should have brought it over here, but we're going to take a walk over there. As I said, it is a 8.5 horsepower single cylinder overhead motor. It's good. It's a bottom pulley. So whatever I use is going to have to um, be... Whatever I use is going to have to be lifted a little, but here it is. Like I said, it's on a pressure washer. The water pump's dead on this. 
so I got it. It was a free motor given to me. Uh, but yeah, Troy built professional Briggs and Stratton ready start. Oh, 8.75, almost nine horsepower. I'm probably going to turbo this because I found a turbo for about 90 bucks. So when all that's ready and all that's on the frame over there, I'm going to go ahead and get this. And when this is running, I'm going to turbo it. Probably. <laughs> It's probably going to get turboed. Again, haven't really had time to take or disassemble anything. So everything's still put together right now. And this is going to be the fuel tank I use. Let's take another walk over there. Give you a vague mock-up. How it's going to be mounted. If it's rear engine... Like it's probably going to be, it's probably going to get used on that snapper. It's probably going to have, it's, the motor's probably going to be on the back of the snapper, if I'm honest. But if it is front engine, like I kind of want it to be, the fuel tank's probably going to be mounted up like that. Kind of like this is right here. I didn't even have to bring it over here. Like this is up here, or this one is, but I believe that is a bigger fuel tank than that. Uh, but anyway, that's just a little project I had an idea for, I'm going to work on. Tell me what you think of it. If you want to see me, if you actually want to see me do all this and more, or you actually see me do all this, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I try to post every single day. It doesn't always happen. But I do try to post every single day. And sorry for the shaky cam. Uh, I just have a phone. <laughs> I do this as a hobby. Uh, but please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of this project. Tell me if you think it's... <laughs> tell me. Give me opinions. Give me thoughts. What do you think I should do to it? But other than that, if you made it this far while you're watching, thank you for watching. Uh, and have a good one.